Hello, my name is Vista Moth here at San Jose Fire Department Station 5, and today we're going to talk about Air Unit 5. Come check it out. This particular piece of apparatus is a 2004 Freightliner and it is manufactured by Pierce Manufacturing and it stands at 10 feet high and 30 feet long. Here at San Jose Fire Department, we have two air units, one at Station 18 and one here at Station 5. Our air unit is dispatched to all two alarm fires and greater. Once the air unit goes on scene, we have the ability to replenish and refill air bottles to keep our firefighters safe so that they can continue working and performing various operations. Here at Station 5, we staff our air unit with members from Squad 5. So we cross staff it, meaning that when a second alarm fire or greater gets dispatched, we grab our equipment and our gear and move it onto the air unit. From there, it's staffed by a fire engineer and a firefighter paramedic. Now we're gonna be talking a little bit more about our Scott's air bottles. And to help us with this is firefighter paramedic, Ray Ramos. As firefighters, we operate in an ideolation environment. Inside of these environments, those materials that are burned produce a toxic gas or toxic smoke that can be very damaging to our respiratory system. So we require protection. Our Scott's air packs have 45 minute bottles, about 4,500 PSI. An individual, depending on his endurance and his capabilities, can get anywhere from about 15 to 30 minutes of air out of these bottles. What that allows is about 15 to 30 minutes extra of work inside your home, saving your materials, saving your house, saving things that you might enjoy or things that you might love. As firefighters operating in the IDLH environment, we tend to get focused on completing our job, but we're only limited by the air that we have in our bottle. So on our systems, we have multiple devices that will let us know what the, the current status of our bottle is. We have a pass device, which tells us how much pressure we actually have remaining in our bottle. Inside our mask, we have a heads up display that tells us how much is left in our bottle. Last but not least, when the bottle is almost out of air, we have a vibe alert. And what this does is it basically begins to vibrate and shakes our mask, letting us know that we have little to no air left and it's time to exit the structure. As a firefighter has depleted his bottle, he will return back to his rig. On every rig in San Jose Fire Department, we have a spare bottle for every person on that rig. They will change out their bottles, go to rehab, and stand by for further operations. We have the ability to bring 56 bottles, fresh bottles, to the scene with the capability of resupplying more. So this is Air Unit 5's refill station. We have the ability to fill up to four bottles at a time. It takes roughly about one to two minutes to fill up all four bottles. Now since our, our compressor takes in the ambient air, breaks it down and puts it into the bottles, we have a warning system. If anything goes wrong in the system, we have an audible alarm as well as a visual and it'll tell us. Now the system will shut down and stop filling. The fill station gives us the ability to fill our bottles even if our reserves are depleted for further operations going forward. So we've covered some of Air Unit 5's capabilities and as you can see its importance on the fire ground operations as well as its benefit for extended operations. We are an all-risk fire department. No matter what happens, we have the tools and training to respond to any emergency and to keep the community safe. Until next time, thanks for watching.